Good morning. Welcome to my home practice. I'm going to take us through flow and we'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and start standing. Be right back. At the top of your mat, arms reach for the sky and fold at the waist, roll down. Walking hands forward to a pike or downward dog, stretching through the spine. And backs of legs, lift heels and lower heels. We'll take that four times up and down, pulling navel into the spine for a little more length through the back. Last two, tapping heels and lifting, then come forward to your first plank, warming up. Hands are spread, toes are wide, ankles strong, lower a little more if that's available, and hold. Options for challenge is shifting forward and back, continuing to work through the arches of your feet. Crown and tail stay in the same line, looking for that shake through the core. As you pull forward, maintain to go back. Last three movements here, and two, just a nice clean, solid plank to start. Last one, hold and hover the knees. I'm gonna walk my hands back, feet forward, and drawing the knees right underneath that pelvic floor. Hold for 10, nine, picking that head up, eight, seven, six, five, four, fists work here as well if those wrists are starting to feel it. A little too much there. Last one, lower down, opening knees to a child's pose and palms reach forward, forehead down. Big breath there, exhaling. And one more breath, bringing hands back to shoulders, press it up, crossing ankles, then extending legs straight out. We'll take a reach and fold at the waist to warm those hamstrings. And walk hands back. Let's bring the sit bones forward and roll down just a little bit. So find your shaking point and hold. See if you can float the legs, maybe one at a time to tabletop. And we'll just go for a single leg toe tap, down and down. So switching for four, three, two, and one will meet where you feel comfortable enough to pump the hundred, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Arms are strong, chest is lifted between the shoulders and legs can extend. Continue pumping, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and lift, two, three, four, lower, two, three, four. Options for challenges with the legs or just stay where you are pumping the arms. You can crisscross and lift or hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, sitting up on sit bones. We'll do this for two more counts of breath. Here's the last one, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and touch behind hamstrings, sit taller, then roll down all the way, hugging knees into chest, rock side to side, and plant your feet on the mat, hands down by sides. Glue the legs together, we'll take our bridging here, roll the hips up and down, Release, then curl and lift. Lower with the same control. Tailbone is last to release, then first to contract, lifting from glutes and low abdominals, rolling up. Knees stay connected. Option here to add a prop. I'm gonna reach my arms up, pretend I'm holding my circle. Lift and lower options for more. Next time you're up, lift heels and hold them up as you lower hips. Release, curl, and lift. Let's go for five more. I set my feet a little closer for better range of motion. Keeping those heels up. Last three. And two. Adding on. Last one. Roll up and hold it. Bring your arms down by sides. Right leg extends to the sky. Drape it over the left and lower lift, lower lift. Bringing attention to that supporting ankle, make sure it's not rolling out or in, and inner thighs are tightly crossed. Last three, then we'll switch sides and keep this party moving. Last two, last one, leg extends, returns to mat, left side crosses down and up. 
goal is to keep the hips stable here. Down and up, not leaning to one side. Three to even that out, keeping space around the neck. Arms are strong and shoulders stable. Last one, hold. Left leg extends, bring it down and switch. This time, right leg stays lifting. Three more times to poke that ceiling. The last one, foot returns and switch. Four more and three. Last two and one. Leg returns and roll down all the way. Heels meet the mat. And again, hug the knees in tight, rocking side to side. Arms and legs extend. Then reach and sit up again. Find your abs. And here, hands can find your mat for support. Lower lift legs. Lower lift legs. Without any weight in the hands, we can bring them up to balance or keep them grounded. Three more. And two. Last one, knees come in, sit up taller, then roll down again. Second round of bridging. Feet go out to a wide second. Heels are into center, closer than the knees, and arms again down by sides. Here we're gonna hinge the hips up and down in one straight sweep. So no more articulation and keep those ribs pulled into the spine. Lift and lower. Adding on as you lift. Kiss the knees, then open and tap. Lift and kiss, open and tap. Keeping the back strong, upper body stable. Lift and contract, then lower, repeat. Let's go for 10 more. Always an option to lift the heels again. Staying strong through the ankles, tap and lower. Lift and kiss, tap, lift, kiss, return. Four more here. Building up that burn through the glutes. Three. And two. Last one, hold it. Little pulses from just the backs of the legs. Up an inch, down an inch. 10. Nine, option to bring the hands together behind you. Eight, but keep those abs strong. Six, five, four, three, two, and we're not done. Hold it, lower the right heel and lift, lower the left heel and lift, keeping the hips stable. Little pause for a mini rest between bridges. Four more, lower lifting heels. And three, gonna add on in two. The last one, heels lower, hips lower. Feet come to parallel, hip width distance, and lift the hips again. Option to lift the heels. Gonna lower just my left hip, and lift to center. Hands on top of ribs to keep that stable. Lift and lift. So keeping the knees where they are, rib cage where that is, ankles are strong, and just one side at a time comes up and down. Go for five more each side. You should feel this in the obliques and backs of legs. Three more, and lift. Last two. <laughs> And lift last one, each side, and roll down all the way. Hugging knees into chest. Again, touch behind hamstrings and sit up to your teaser. Hands at your sides or behind base of skull. And here we're gonna scissor the legs one at a time down and up. So wherever you feel those abs the most is your shaking point. Go for five and switch and four and switch. Last three, and switch, and two, and switch. Last one, adding on, open, and cross and center, open, and switch which leg is crossing. Go for four, and switch, and three, try to stay lifted, two, and switch. Last one, and back through home, roll it down, and hug the knees into your chest. Feet come down, hands come down, and we'll take a figure four stretch here. Right ankle over left knee, left leg extends to the sky, and open up through that right hip. Inhale, rolling that top ankle, 
and pointer flex the foot reaching both legs up and switching left ankle over right knee figure four stretch here pressing that left knee away inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth just cooling that down and bringing both legs back to center we'll sit up one more time and get into the side body i'll face you coming into your best side lying position. So I'm gonna be lifted on my forearm. You can also lay flat on your bottom arm or add any props that you might have. A ball works well here. I don't have one of those yet. I do have a circle, we'll use that in a moment. Top hand on top hip. I'm gonna extend my top leg out to the side, making sure that I'm fully stacked. Shoulders and hips in one straight line. I'm gonna begin with a lift and a tap in front, and a lift and a tap behind. Goal is to keep those obliques pulled in towards center. And range of motion on the leg can be small. I'm using my mat to align the bottom shin, and lift and tap. We'll go for five, and four, last three, and two, building up the next challenge. Last one, hold, flex foot, and sweep back and forward, back and forward. Keeping that line straight and parallel. Go for four and three. Last two, continuing here. Last one, hold, rotate, Pilates V, lift and lower. So I'm externally rotated at the hip on top. I'm gonna point my toe, then flex, point, and flex. Trying to stay lifted in the bottom oblique. Go for three and two. And last one, lift, bend the knee and rest, sitting up. We'll pause between sides and take a stretch for the obliques here. Reaching top arm up and over. Gonna look up and rotate, then come back to center. Left hand returns, right arm sweeps up and over. Big breath in, looking up through that rotation and bring that back home. From here, we gently move into the second side, coming to forearm or laying flat, bottom knee pulled into the chest. I'm gonna scooch forward just a little bit and begin my tap, forward and back. Top hand on top hip, if that's available, or use that as a little bit of support to keep your bottom oblique working and lift and tap with a pointed foot. Go for five and four. Classic side lying leg series. Last two and one, find center, flex foot, aligning knee, ankle and hip, pressing back and forward with flex foot for three and two and one, finding center, rotate, point, and flex, point, and flex, go for three, and lift, and two, and lift, but not lowering that oblique, last one, coming down, both knees, whoops, bend, and then return. So coming back up here, we'll take a little butterfly seated stretch, Lifting out of the hips and folding. Cooling that down and pressing the knees away. Inhale and exhale. We'll do one more thing for sideline. Returning to the first side here. Maybe try that forearm now. Heels together, tucking bottom toes under and open and close. This is a good place for a band if you have one at home. Pressing into the piriformis and lateral thigh. This is our classic clamshell. Go for five more, then we'll add a pulse. Three, slow press and slow return. Two more. Last one, hold and press away for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, close that and rest, lifting back up and swinging that around to the other side. Coming back to forearm, 
feet are stacked, bottom toes tucked under. So I've got my Pilates V heels together, toes apart, and close and open. Close and open. Hand can go to that top hip. You should feel it in the outside of the top leg. And obliques. Five more full range presses, and then we'll finish this out with a pulse. Hopefully you're shaking. Last two. And hold little presses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Closing that and sitting up all the way. I'm going to turn to face the opposite side of my mat, rolling down, bringing legs back to tabletop, then extending to the sky, hands by sides, lower the legs, and lift. Knees bend and rest. Pull out on here. Legs lift and lower. Lift and lower. Sitting up when you're ready for more. Go for five and four. Last three and two. Exhaling to return the legs high. Last one. Hold reaching arms. Curl up for ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand down, right hand behind base of skull. Legs go right and you curl left and lower. Curl and down. Five on this side and four. Reaching left arm long. Last two and one return and switch legs go left you go right curl and lower curl and lower three and two and one find center heels together toes apart elbows and knees meet option to extend and curl and extend flexing and pointing the toes curl Extend, go for five, and four, and three, last two, and one. Touch, parallel, and sit up all the way. We'll end with a little stretch here for the front abdominals. Coming back to a plank, this time zipping the legs together. Glutes engaged, hands down, toes wide. Hold for 10. And eight. And five. And three, two. Lower down and take an upward facing dog stretch, also known as swan. Just allowing the abs to stretch here. And exhale, press it back to all fours. Right arm reaches, left leg reaches. Option to kick and extend. Kick with flexed point, extend. Two more ham curls there. The last one. And switch sides. Cooling it down in your stretch. An option to flex and point for that hamstring curl. Last two. And one hand and knee return and take a child's pose. Forehead down, fingers wide. Inhale and exhale. When you're ready, you can step that back up. To a cross leg position. Hands come to the knees, open to the sky. I will take three cooling breaths here. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling from the mouth. Option to drop the head back. together to your heart and thank your body more tomorrow.